All right, we've just had a review of the uh, energy circle, I like to call it, uh, the process by which energy is stored and released. And I've only got half the circle because the subject is cellular respiration, and cellular res respiration is the take apart side of the circle. And so the world of life's great complex molecule take apart process is called cellular respiration. Cellular respiration. And we can see from this name uh, where it occurs. Gee, I bet it's called cellular respiration because it happens in what? In cells? You'd be right. But not all cells, just living cells, not dead cells. Uh, cellular respiration is a 24 hour a day process in living cells. Which living cells? All living cells, all kingdoms. And so all living cells, all living cells, all, A L L, all living cells perform cellular respiration 24 7. 24 7. All living cells are taking apart complex molecules, producing simple molecules to uh, uh, meet their energy needs, including us. Well, yeah, including us. Uh, you know, if you are, uh, if you go from here to the uh, weight room and you're lifting weights, um, <clears throat> I don't have to go to the weight room to lift weights. All I have to do is stand up, and I'm lifting a pretty heavy weight. Anyway, uh, that takes energy, and molecules had to be taken apart to provide that energy. And cellular respiration is the process that does it. Uh, and where do they, where do these complex molecules come from that our muscle cells take apart? Well, from the food we shove, it, shove in the uh, uh, complex molecule intake port, of course. See, where's that? Right there. So, on a regular basis, we shove molecules in this complex molecule intake port because we need the chemical, among other things, we need the chemical energy stored in those complex molecules. And so the complex molecules are distributed all over our bodies. Uh, they're constantly being taken apart. Energy is being released. Simple molecules are being formed. So all cells, plant cells, yeah, animal cells, yeah, fungal cells, yeah, all living cells, protocells, yeah, bacteria cells, yeah, all living cells are doing cellular respiration 24 hours a day. And so, uh, <clears throat> um, so uh, what substances are used up? I'm looking at one of your study guide questions here. What substances are used up by the complex reactions of cellular respiration? Well, uh, we don't have to go too far. Here's our old friend, glucose. Well, it represents a molecule of glucose, but one of the, co the, the, co the complex molecule that's used up is glucose. Glucose. And so why did I put it there? Well, this goes around this way, so the, what I'm about to write here, go into the, uh, into the hopper, so to speak, into the complex reac reactions of cellular respiration, and uh, are used up. Glucose again, what's the formula for this little guy here? C6H12O6. C6H12O6. Yeah, that's glucose. And we also need a, a simple molecule. That's the complex molecule. But in order for cellular respiration to go on, uh, we're sucking in some what? <sighs> yeah, we're sucking in some oxygen. We absolutely need that oxygen as well. And so these are the two substances used up uh, by the complex reactions of cellular respiration. Incidentally, glucose, what's the common name of glucose as it's moving around our system? I think it's called blood sugar, is it not? Yes, indeedy. So glucose is used up. And so what's actually happening in cellular respiration, it's glucose that's being systematically taken apart. Uh, we'll talk more about that in a second, but let's list the simple molecules that are being produced. Uh, they are, and we I'm not going to write the names, you know what these stand for, I think. Uh, one is carbon dioxide. <laughs> We're exhaling carbon dioxide. And so uh, that was produced by our cells doing cellular respiration. What's the formula for carbon dioxide? CO2. And also another byproduct of the reactions of cellular res respiration is H2O carbon dioxide and water. So glucose and oxygen are used up. 
carbon dioxide and water are produced. And so uh, well, there's one more thing we're going to put on here in a second, but what, what basically are we saying here? Cellular respiration in all living cells. Uh, all, well, there, there are some that wouldn't be using glucose, but glucose in the uh, animal kingdom and in uh, eukaryotic cells and so forth. Uh, glucose is the uh, complex molecule that goes in. And so what's happening to glucose uh, as, it's, as, as it uh, enters this and goes through the reactions of cellular respiration? Very simple. Glucose has stored energy. Where is that energy stored again? In the bonds of complex molecules. Now, uh, the reactions of cellular respiration, they don't just rip glucose apart, they take it apart, in essence, piece by piece, little by little, gradually extracting the energy that was stored in the bonds of the glucose molecules. Extracting the energy from glucose, releasing that energy, producing these simple molecules, CO2 and H2O. Now the question, the final question in this section of your study guide is in general where does the energy go that is released by cellular respiration? It says two places. Well what two places are we talking about? Well uh, some of it is released as as heat. I don't know if you know but you're hot. You are hot. I said well I am. Well yeah you're hotter than the room temperature I hope. I hope nobody hears it room temperature. That's a real bad sign. Now, room temperature is, uh, you know, uh, in Fahrenheit is around 70. We're all about 98.6. What keeps us that to almost uh, 30 degrees above room temperature? Well, it's the uh, energy released by cellular respiration. So let me put that down. It's released as heat. And uh, where does the rest of it go? Well, the rest of it becomes chemical energy in another molecule. It was chemical energy in glucose to begin with and then it becomes, uh, it's transferred to uh, another molecule as chemical energy stored in that molecule. Let's see, we've talked about that molecule. A temporary energy storage molecule. Uh, what's that called again? A, 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 T, P. Oh yeah, stored in A, T, P. And so energy goes from being stored in glucose to being stored in ATP. How is that energy stored in ATP again? Let's see, ATP is the live battery form. There's a, what's the dead battery form? ADP, ADP. So ADP plus a phosphate produces ATP. And that bond between the last two phosphates is where that energy is stored. Where was that energy stored before it was in that bond between the last two phosphates? It was in a bond of glucose. And so, energy that was in glucose through the process of cellular respiration is released. Some of it released as heat, some of it stored, uh, this is an ATP, stored in that uh, temporary energy storage molecule called ATP. And so there you have it. That's just kind of the big picture for cellular respiration.